A biodiversity hotspot is a biogeographic region with significant levels of biodiversity that is threatened with destruction. For example, forests are considered as biodiversity hotspots. The status is designated by Conservation International. Norman Myers wrote about the concept in two articles in The Environmentalist 1988, and 1990 revised after thorough analysis by Myers and others Hotspots, Earth's biologically richest and most endangered terrestrial ecoregions and a paper published in the journal Nature, to qualify as a biodiversity hotspot on Myers' 2000 edition of the Hotspot Map, a region must meet two strict criteria, it must contain at least 0.5% or 1,500 species of vascular plants as endemics, and it has to have lost at least 70% of its primary vegetation. Around the world, 35 areas qualify under this definition. These sites support nearly 60% of the world's plant, bird, mammal, reptile, and amphibian species, with a very high share of those species as endemics. <laughs> Hotspot conservation initiatives Only a small percentage of the total land area within biodiversity hotspots is now protected. Several international organizations are working in many ways to conserve biodiversity hotspots. Critical Ecosystem Partnership Fund is a global program that provides funding and technical assistance to non-governmental organizations and participation to protect the Earth's richest regions of plant and animal diversity including, biodiversity hotspots, high biodiversity wilderness areas and important marine regions. The World Wide Fund for Nature has derived a system called the Global 200 Ecoregions, the aim of which is to select priority ecoregions for conservation within each of 14 terrestrial, 3 freshwater, and 4 marine habitat types. They are chosen for their species richness, endemism, taxonomic uniqueness, unusual ecological or evolutionary phenomena, and global rarity. All biodiversity hotspots contain at least one global 200 ecoregion. BirdLife International has identified 218 endemic bird areas EBAS, each of which hold two or more bird species found nowhere else. BirdLife International has identified more than 11,000 important bird areas all over the world. Plant Life International coordinates several the world aiming to identify important plant areas. Alliance for Zero Extinction is an initiative of a large number of scientific organizations and conservation groups who cooperate to focus on the most threatened endemic species of the world. They have identified 595 sites, including a large number of BirdLife's important bird areas. The National Geographic Society has prepared a world map of the hotspots and ArcView shapefile and metadata for the biodiversity hotspots including details of the individual endangered fauna in each hotspot, which is available from Conservation International. By the influence of that the central government of India arrived a new authority named CAMPA Compensatory Afforestation Fund Management and Planning Authority to control the destruction of forests and biological spots in India. 
Topic distribution by region North and Central America California Floristic Province 8 Madrine Pine Oak Woodlands 26 Mesoamerica 2 North American Coastal Plain NACP 36 The Caribbean Caribbean Islands 3 South America Atlantic Forest 4 Cerrado 6 Chilean Winter Rainfall Valdivian Forests 7 Tumbes Choco Magdalena 5 Tropical Andes 1 Europe Mediterranean Basin 14 Africa Cape Floristic Region 12 Coastal Forests of Eastern Africa 10 Eastern Afromontane 28 Guinean Forests of West Africa 11 Horn of Africa 29 Madagascar and the Indian Ocean Islands 9 Maputaland Pondoland Albany 27 Succulent Karoo 13 Central Asia Mountains of Central Asia 31 South Asia Eastern Himalaya, Nepal India 32 Indo-Burma, India and Myanmar 19 Western Ghats and Sri Lanka 21 Southeast Asia and Asia Pacific East Melanesian Islands 34 New Caledonia 23 New Zealand 24 Philippines 18 Polynesia Micronesia 25 Eastern Australian Temperate Forests 35 Southwest Australia 22 Sunderland and Nicobar Islands of India 16 16 Wallacea 17 East Asia Japan 33 Mountains of Southwest China 20 West Asia Caucasus 15 Irano Anatolian 30 Critiques of Hotspots the high profile of the biodiversity hotspots approach has resulted in some criticism Papers such as Kariva and Marvir have argued that the biodiversity hotspots, do not adequately represent other forms of species richness e.g. total species richness or threatened species richness do not adequately represent taxa other than vascular plants e.g. vertebrates, or fungi do not protect smaller scale richness hotspots do not make allowances for changing land use patterns. Hotspots represent regions that have experienced considerable habitat loss, but this does not mean they are experiencing ongoing habitat loss. On the other hand, regions that are relatively intact e.g. the Amazon basin have experienced relatively little land loss, but are currently losing habitat at tremendous rates. Do not protect ecosystem services. Do not consider phylogenetic diversity. A recent series of papers has pointed out that biodiversity hotspots and many other priority region sets do not address the concept of cost. The purpose of biodiversity hotspots is not simply to identify regions that are of high biodiversity value, but to prioritize conservation spending. The regions identified include some in the developed world e.g. the California Floristic Province, alongside others in the developing world e.g. Madagascar. The cost of land is likely to vary between these regions by an order of magnitude or more, but the biodiversity hotspot designations do not consider the conservation importance of this difference. However, the available resources for conservation also tend to vary in this way. Topic: See also Biodiversity Conservation biology Crisis ecoregions Ecoregions Global 200 Hawaiian honeycreeper conservation High biodiversity wilderness areas Hope spot, biodiversity hotspots in the open sea Megadiverse countries Protected areas Key biodiversity areas Wilderness <laughs>